Hi, so I thought I'd show you how to uh, style a IKEA daybed for a garden. Um, this was bought off of Facebook Marketplace, including the mattress for um, fifty pound. Um, but I included a a mattress topper and a, a memory foam topper, just so it gives it that more of a luxurious soft feel because the mattress it come with you could just fill springs in um, but that's not an issue um, I was going to paint this um, like a creamy white colour but I decided against it as this would all be cream um, this is a quilt from Dunelm a couple of years ago the cushions are from a local retailer uh, near me um, called Snake Martins don't tell um, Danny how much they were per cushion but they are 85 sorry they are 80 by 80 so there is four that manage that all fit on this IKEA date bed which I think is roughly 220 in length um, but I managed to find some 85 by 85 cushion fillers on Amazon for 20 under 25 quid but where the cushions are quite big I was actually getting frightened not frightened but thinking oh god I'm gonna spend so much money here to fill them because they the, the ones that I saw were coming in at 25 quid each but so the cushions were absolute steel for going here and they're actually really really good quality um yeah give you a close-up of the cushions what they look like they're like the the boho shabby shabby chic type I've got like a, a carrot chocolate um, frill thing. It's all on one side. That's what it is on the other side. It's a black trim. Uh, so, I've styled it with an IKEA rug. I've got two. Um, I've got some older Primark. Cool now, so lights they'll go all up here. Um, but moving on to my other table here, I've got some bees, a jug from Home Bargains with some tulips in. These cushions are from the factory shop with a uh, old B and Q chair. So I've got one that side too that has the uh, cushions in. Um, but yeah, now I thought how pretty nice does that look? It's been a real hit and it is actually really really comfy So hopefully when the best with the good weather coming a bit more with the blue skies that we currently have It'll be nice to see out here because the Sun is all in the garden um, Yeah, so I can't wait but I haven't really upcycled it that much. I've just used it as an outdoor day bed but it would be lovely to have a snooze on. <laughs> yeah, just reach over and get your drink out from there. Put your arm put your arm through the bar. <laughs> it's sorted. Got some um, blankets as well for the chilly evening with a fire pit just there. But yeah, bring on the English summer. <laughs> so he's going to be in and out like a yo-yo <laughs> for it not to get wet. <laughs> Bye. Basically, here it is all the way through a layering of the products, the quilt, the mattress topper, uh, as it goes through. You can follow me on Instagram so I, you can see this a little bit closer as this is one of the reels on there. Um, so as I said, featured all the products I use are in that uh, video description bar. Although some aren't actually on there, but the finished article, I know it's a bed, but it is super, super comfy and it's in the real sun trap and it just makes it so much, so comfy where you can actually fall asleep with a nice blanket and a fire pit on. Oh, it's perfect for summer. Um, if you like these sorts of videos, please give it a thumbs up or write a little comment in the description, in the, in the thing below. And let me know if this is the sort of thing that you that you like to to watch or if there's something that you'd like me to upcycle. 
I am more than happy to do so. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.